Hi, everyone. My name is Rong Chi Hu. I'm a graduate student from Dr. Thomas Cooper staff at Baylor College of Medicine. I was recently awarded with the MDF Predoctoral Fellowship starting from this year, and I'm really excited to meet everyone in the MDF conference. My research focuses on the heart-related problem of DM1, which are the second leading cause of death in individuals suffering from DM1. We know that DM1 is caused by the presence of RNA containing expanded COG repeat transcribed from the DMPK allele. And this COG repeat RNA induced DM1 by disrupting the function of two important RNA binding protein families called muscle blind and self one. While how DM1 affects skeletal muscle has been widely studied, not as much is known about how COG repeat RNA induces heart defects. To tackle this problem, I'm using a DM1 heart mouse model to determine the degrees to which loss of muscle blind and gain of cell phone activities contribute to DM1 cardiac pathogenesis by using genetic approaches to test for the phenotypic rescue. As recently published in our lab, we generated a heart-specific mouse model that expresses COG repeat RNA, which can be switched on specifically in the heart. After turning on the repeat RNA, um, this mice shows many of the cardiac features that are observed in the DM1 patients. For example, the delayed conduction was seen on ECG, and about 10% of the mice develop uh, spontaneous arrhythmia. Moreover, the mice has, uh, have a strong propensity for arrhythmia when they are electrically stimulated. Another important thing to mention here is that the observed heart defects can be reversed back to nearly normal after switching off the expression of COG repeat. Based on this, we know that we have a faithful DM1 heart mouse model to use in the future. Molecularly, as shown in our lab and others, DM1 features can be reproduced in mice by loss of muscle blind and overexpression of self one. Yet, it is unclear to what degree of self one gain of function and muscle blind loss of function contribute to the DM1 cardiac pathogenic mechanisms. So the plan here is to use adeno-associative virus serotype 9 or AAV9 for heart-specific overexpression of both muscle blind 1 and muscle blind 2 or knockdown of cell phone in our induced uh, DM1 heart mouse model to determine the extent of rescue of the cardiac defects. In today's video, I'll mainly focus on the muscle blind overexpression part. In my research so far, I overexpress heart specific muscle blind one and muscle blind two simultaneously in our mouse model that we're expressing the expanded COG repeat RNA in heart, and we're shown to have the characteristic ECG abnormalities. We firstly confirmed that the epitope tag muscle blind proteins were expressed in both left ventricles and atrias. Importantly, the animal groups with muscle blind overexpression, but not the m control group shows significant rescue of ECG parameters, including reduction of QRS and QTC intervals, which were prolonged previously by induced COG repeat uh, RNA in our mouse model. So muscle blind overexpression also significantly decreased the heart weight compared to control groups. Moreover, alternative splicing events 
that are disrupted by the CUG repeat RNA were also rescued very insignificantly. This result indicates that um, muscle blinds play a crucial role in DM1 cardiac pathogenesis. And in the future, I'm planning to focus on three things. First, to determine the role of cell fund in DM1 cardiac pathogenesis by AAV delivered SHRNA. Secondly, to identify the rescue by muscle blind one and muscle blind two individually. And the third thing is to rank rescue by comparison to the baseline for maximum reversal when the transgene was turned off. So let's step back and look at the bigger picture again. Although there are over 50% of DM1 patients suffering from uh, heart features, the molecular details of how CUG repeat affects heart function are still unclear. From our data, it shows that both muscle blind one and muscle blind two play important roles in DM1 cardiac pathogenesis. And more importantly, it suggests that by targeting the defects of muscle blind, cardiac phenotype can be improved in DM1. With the more in-depth study of muscle blind and self one, in the future, I hope the investigation will throw light on the design of therapies to treat cardiac manifestation in DM1 patients. Finally, I, I would like to thank MDF for the opportunity to share about my work as well as the support for my fellowship. This has helped me to look into the basic mechanism of DM1 pathogenesis which I believe is the first step to finding effective treatment to improve the life quality of DM1 patients. I hope DM1 research will also attract more attention to speed up the progress. Also, with the rapid advance in method to do like genetic modifications such as CRISPR, I'm excited to see how that will come into play for gene therapies targeting DM1. Uh, thank you very much for listening to my talk. And I'm looking forward to discussing more with you about my research during my poster session. Thank you so much.